Hey guys, level 2 here. Alright, we're going to do a trade review for Wednesday the 29th of January and a trade plan for tonight, one night till tomorrow, which is the 30th of January. Let's do a quick review of what we had in store for today. Alright, today on the ES, we were looking at 95 initially. Didn't get quite filled on the open. We took the return to open and sold off on lives. I wasn't on the demo account today, so not much to show on this so we sold off on the open right at um when the speech started that is um the speech when the speech started and sold off got a pretty nice sell off to the close got in and got out of the market right at point of control from yesterday uh exit to that value area high and point of control for today didn't want to leave anything running overnight on my side um you can see here still the 62 buy was still in place <coughs> all right so let's on on cl now on the oil we were expecting some bullish moves overnight we got the bullish move got in and got out profitable trades i uh, identified the 50 350 this morning fire buy position we bought we got out of one um we got out of one early and got stopped on the second one at break even so we took a loss on that secondary you know we used to the tick stops so i did six stop because of that one right here at the 80. we took 25 ticks off of it early because we wasn't, didn't want to be in the market that early so we got out at 75. we got stopped on a secondary buy when i left and then used the reversion for the inflection point of post news and got into the cell. The cell side being neutral on oil as of now, nothing pending, nothing working or no working orders in. Um I need to remove this. This order is no longer valid in our view. We have a particular trade we're looking at, so let's look at our market setup right now. We were looking for the 95s quite didn't get quite filled. This is the opening range here, 15 minute chart let's go to a five minute chart right so we didn't get the opening range i got a quick dip strong dip this morning and i reverse i'm back up nothing in the middle of nowhere with that signal we were expecting a gap play for most part didn't get filled on that on that trade and we were looking at selling back tops on the double top and making sure we stops behind 95 to 98s just want to make sure I stop behind 98 and uh, get the continuation for overnight I have already inputted the deviation levels which are at 55 and <coughs> 38 so we have two deviation levels we're looking for we are we close out the value also and this is 85 84 85 this point of control today so our trade plan is for if the market moves up to this 85 to 88 and gauge the market with stops above 95 so we want to make sure that we have stops in the correct place so 85 to 88 is a valid area most likely we may look to get in at 86 tonight on a single entry or 85s and 88s as <coughs> a lagging entry so most likely that might be our overnight trade position to be in the market and on the buy side we're looking at this 55 to 58 level 53 to 58 seven levels is valid we're looking at entering right at the 55s which was noticeably yesterday's point where we got it got into the trade and kicked off so we're just looking for a return and then a small bounce to the upside most likely that bounce might end at 66 to 68 so we just look for 10 points not more than that unless you're holding trades for longer periods and we have one deviation to the downside and 44 this 44 would be important to us that 44 would be very important to us and this closing the nodes here at the 40s area where we're looking at previously for the push to the upside would be important we're looking for a range day tomorrow tomorrow should be a range day so let's go to the quote board don't need to name that 1.6 million five hundred and forty two thousand in trades in <coughs> volume today 
um, position size tonight didn't have anything on and so we're looking for it to move to the downside and then a, a small push back up just looking for a range play today <coughs> for tomorrow tonight till tomorrow you can see the market close weekly after um, the FOMC so once you see the FOMC comes out and we were speaking about that if you're aggressive aggression is at 78 i might have a single base on how the market is acting but most likely we want to review two other things today so that, those are our important levels to look at for tomorrow 84 to 88 and 53 to 58 and those are and you have your points exactly we are looking at them and then for backups we're looking at that 44 level and then at 40 44 to 40 would be secondaries to the upside we may look at the deviation deviation has some structure on it or the 95s based on look at what we've seen in the market and uh, what is we looking to be more or less lean and bearish into the market for tomorrow but overnight we may have some bulls coming into the market because of two things um well tesla wouldn't right so let's go to my tesla stuff uh close well uh send for the order to be filled so i want to make sure that the order is, should be filled so let's look at tesla and after our earnings we go along 60 60 i got out of 10 and i had more order sent because how i have to deal with it is um sent to broker at 600 so i got out of 10 contracts um contracts shares now i'll have 40 shares for the continuation and run up after hours yeah that's a lot of money <laughs> um very happy if you see me in the chat i was like more or less yep 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 yep, yep, yep. <laughs> because we kind of does like kick ass this this quarter so we did what we supposed to do and close off that so pretty good trade my last technical entry was at 498 was my last technical entry so uh average gene at 288 now had 60 total at my max i have 40 now holding now should be holding now uh, deviations uh, i just banked well, that's what Six thousand today on my Tesla trade, so that should cover me. I should be with all my closes at break even. Why? Copy and login. My entry is two eighty three. I banked five thousand eight hundred last week at five eighty three. I banked the next six thousand today. That will put me at more than break even for my total entries. Just seventeen thousand minus. <coughs> five thousand minus six well six thousand and six thousand will put mad more than break even so the rest of trading for that is free trades those are that is more or less stuff I go to zero and I wouldn't lose money on my trading account so Tesla um, let's look at what Facebook did yeah, Facebook well Apple beat yesterday but I didn't see a strong move to the upside Facebook is down 7%. Just bang. Nope. Don't want it. I mean, $7. 7.25%. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I have no hard feelings for Facebook. None whatsoever. They deserve to be crushed. Not a good company. It all. I want to rule the world. They are yeah, Amazon. I have no interest in buying overpriced stock with low multiplicities so on oil be neutral we'll be looking for points tomorrow morning i'll be live streaming tomorrow so trade small trade smart guys uh make sure and trade what you see trade with angles and use make sure that you don't over leverage drop your number of contracts make sure you allow your trades to go through if you see anything on to what's happening know how to break even on your trades and let them act as they would like them to act so there's 55 to 60 areas 
is important for tomorrow so for overnight so just look at the market trade what you see trade small trade smart guys okay guys um that is it for tonight uh, probably should see you guys tomorrow uh sorry i wasn't able to stream i was waiting for my phone call my people didn't call this morning they just came and uh, had to run okay guys bye mm -hmm.